Hi, it's Sheena again and my fiance. I'm Lance. All right, so we are going to play this time um, 21 questions to test how well your part, you really know your partner. Well, how well your partner knows you. Hmm. All right. Let's go. So we've been together for three years, so he should know me pretty well. I've won this before. Just, just so y'all know, we played a while ago. <laughs> and I won, but we'll see. He won the, the Never Have I Ever because he said he's not scared of spiders, but he is. No, I'm only scared of sharks. Okay. Sharks. Okay, ready? Yep. All right. What's your partner's least favorite body part? You want to go first with all the questions? Yeah, I'll answer first. Your okay. stomach. Yep. Um... I don't think you have a body part you don't like. No, there is two. There's two? Mm-hmm. Oh, I should know this. Um, your feet? Nope. Your ears? Yep. <laughs> and my nose. And his nose. I like your ears and your nose. My sister used to pull on them. That's why they're all big. <laughs> his sister used to yank on his ears. And, and they rip them, yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. When your part, when your partner was a child what did they want to be when they grew up i think you wanted to be a nail artist nail artist yeah. and a stay-at-home mom probably yep i did nails from like the age of 18 until i was like 27 and then i stopped doing nails i really want to start doing them again so if y'all need your nails done he wanted to be a film artist no a film producer no a photo editor video editor yeah and a porn star and a porn star <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> i repeat it <laughs> name a country your partner would love to visit well you don't like planes but probably south america mexico yeah um, you should know this. I tell her all the time. I Hawaii? Take her there. That's in America. Oh. <laughs> um. Oh, what is the name of that place? Um. Give you a hint. My boss is from there. Italy. Yep. Okay. You know what? We forgot to get something to keep track of score. So we'll just watch the video and see who won. I think I'm winning, but... Okay. Did your partner have a nickname as a child? What was it? Bonus point. Did they like their nickname and why? So you remember what my nickname was? I know one of them was Bunny, but I don't remember the one your parents gave you. No, so my Uncle Billy, when I was a baby... Nickname me Wiener. Oh yeah, Wiener. <laughs> <laughs> he nicknamed me Wiener, and I hate that nickname. It's just, it's not appropriate either. So no, I did not like it. I don't know any nicknames that you had. Um, Lars. Yeah, Lars was one of them. And he does like it. I, I mean, it's my alter ego, so. Yeah. Don't so. really like him. <laughs> He's evil. Um, what disappointment or rejection from your partner's past still stings? You want me to go first? Yeah, yeah. go ahead, because I don't even know. I would say your ex physically assaulting you. Yeah. Yeah, that still stings. Um... Yours would probably be being married before. Yeah. And um, yeah, no. Yeah. Okay. All right. What is your partner's least favorite housework task? Everything. <laughs> Everything says least favorite task. That's true. But. Yours probably is plunging the toilet. Yes. 
our which toilet. you have to do all the time. Yes, our kids plug up the toilet all the time. I actually have a plunger in my toilet right now. Yep. I'm working on getting it unplugged. We have four kids, so that's a lot of poop. Yes. They are very... I don't even know the word. Um, <laughs> let's see. Name two partners, grandparents. Bonus point, can you name all their grandparents? Um, I know your Grandma Shirley. Mm -hmm. um, That's the only one I have alive left. But yeah, I forget your mom's dad's name. What was his name? Don. Don. Alright, so do you know any of my grandparents' names? Uh, yes. Um, Gwyneth. Yeah. And. Is his name Bill? No, that was my uncle. Oh, um. Larry. Yeah, <laughs> Larry. Alright. Um. I don't know the other ones, so I don't think you've ever told me their real names. Yeah, so I have my grandpa Frank. Oh yeah, you have some grandpa. Yep. Um, what is your partner's favorite smell? Me. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> your favorite smell is herb. Yeah, or you, like you said. And oh wait, I already answered that. Yeah, and your favorite smell. <sighs> That's hard. I don't know. Clean house. Yeah. Mop water. <laughs> bleach water. Yeah. <laughs> I do like the smell of bleach. I, I do think, too. But. I think the smell of bleach is good. Um, what is your partner's favorite flavor ice cream? Butter pecan. Mm-hmm. Um, yours would probably be cherry, black cherry, or butter pecan. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. See, we do know each other. <laughs> what is a personality trait your partner dislikes about themselves and that they share with a parent? Ooh, this one's good. That you dislike about yourself and you share with your parents? Yeah, it, I guess it's what is a personality trait that your your partner dislikes about themselves so something about yourself that's like your parents that you got from like your parent like a trait that you got from your parent it would, yours would have to be something from your mom but that my ocd probably yeah probably your ocd what's mine though um yours would probably be Substance abuse. Yeah. But he's been clean for three years. Yes, sir. All right. So, um, of all the ways there are to die, which does your partner fear the most? This would be easy for you. A bitten by a shark? Yes. <laughs> mine would be... You know what mine is? I don't know, no. Oh, flying, crashing on a plane and yeah. dying. Yo, yeah. I knew it. <laughs> She's scared of planes. It's her OCD. Yeah, I do not like planes. I don't think I will ever go on a plane. Oh, she's Unless going, I going have to Italy. To. Yeah, he's taking me to Italy. <laughs> what does your partner, what does your partner typically look forward to the most about the weekend? Her time off. Cleaning and organizing. Mm -hmm. Yours would be watching Netflix and chilling. Yeah, I do that a lot. Mm -hmm. So if y'all got any good shows to recommend, hit me up. Yes, you Put watch them in the comments. Yes. All right, I'll watch so it. Um, I skipped a couple, so there is not exactly 21 questions. Um, but I'm going to read these last two. Um, well, actually, there's. <clears throat> There's four left. What did your part? How did your partner spend their summer as their summers as a child? Hmm. Camp. 
Yeah, but when I was younger, I spent it on the lake, wakeboarding. Yeah, he used to do everything as a child. Um, you. Just probably hanging out in the garage with your dad. Mm hmm. Yeah, my dad used to take us bike riding and we would go camping, but I looked forward to summers as a kid because I would always spend it in the garage with my dad. I still miss the smell of his garage. I'm looking at myself. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What are your partner's favorite and least favorite aspects of their work? Being a manager, right? Is that my favorite or my least favorite? That's, I would say that that's your favorite and least favorite. No. Oh. You like it because it's good pay, but you dislike it because... I hate firing people. Yeah, he hates firing people. Unless they suck, then I will peace. But I would hate that too because... Like, Especially people I didn't hire. I yeah. shouldn't have to fire people I didn't hire myself. Mm -hmm. I'll do it. That's fine. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. I mean, we work together, so. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we work together. And now we're doing YouTube together. <laughs> well, we got three more questions. Uh, yep. Does your partner consider themselves more like their mother or their father in terms of personality? In what way? I would say you are more like your father. Because your father is funny and he's always moving, always active, always doing something and you never sit down. This is the longest she sat down all week. <laughs> Alright, I would say that you're more like your mom because you're like quiet and your mom's kind of quiet. Yeah, so is my dad. Yeah, I guess so. Like, when me and him got together, um, the kids didn't come here right away, um, because I wanted to make sure he wasn't, like, a pedophile or a murderer, so, <laughs> um, he's, like, real quiet and conserved, and I'm, like, real loud and crazy, and I, I kept trying to warn him that when the kids came here that it was going to be loud and crazy, because it was always loud in my home when I was growing up. My mom was very vocal, and... Like, he's just laying in here chilling, and, like, the house is just loud all the time. Yeah. All the time. But he's starting to come around. Like, he, like, comes out, and he'll, like, bust down Tatiana. <laughs> Tatiana. <laughs> I don't even know who that is. <laughs> but if you're Tatiana, hit me up. No. No girls better be hitting him up, or we will have a problem. Because now you know who I am. Okay. What purchase is your partner currently considering? What purchase is your partner currently considering? What's on their wish list? You can go first. Um, a motorcycle? Yeah. And a house? Yeah. I've been considering both those. And a car. But, uh, I don't know. Yours is probably a house. Mm -hmm. We're trying to get a house. We are getting a house. Um, I've been building up my credit for a few years now, so has he. We both had, like, what, under 400 when we met? Mine wasn't that I had bad credit. I just didn't have any credit. And now mine's, like, over 700. So we're going to be getting a house. We have a big family. I have three children. I have a 15-year-old, a 13-year-old, and an 8-year-old. And he has a 10-year-old daughter. Yeah. And so, you'll be meeting them, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. They're going to be on here for yeah. sure. And they're amazing. And you guys are going to love them. Yeah. Uh, All right. So, the last question. Okay. Will you marry me? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Hell, yeah. We're already engaged. I don't have my other ring on because it's too big on my finger. You're so, we have to get it sized. Size. once. Yeah. Sized for the second time. All right. So... Who is, who is someone your partner considers to be a mentor and or, not and or, but or, 
who has been a strong positive influence in their professional development? I would say for you, it's the Monet girls that you work with and follow along. Yeah. Are your teammates, I guess. Yeah. So I sell and I work for Monet. If you have not tried the products, you should because they're life changing. But you guys will learn more about those products too. I'll be incorporating that into my YouTube videos. Yours would be, I don't know, you're just an entrepreneur. You try to make money any way you can. That's right. Got to. Yeah. Especially with four kids. Shit. I know. <laughs> All right, so that's our game. I don't know who won, so we're going to watch the video. I think it was pretty even, to be honest. I won. We'll put it underneath. And uh, y'all can just check it out. Make sure you like, follow, subscribe. We're out. Bye. Peace.